TV7 Israel News is made possible thanks to your generous donations. Shalom, good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Israeli Prime Minister Bimi Netanyahu vows that Israel will continue to confront Iran's aggression everywhere and all the time to assure the security of the Jewish state and the safety of its citizens. Palestinian Islamists launched a drone from the Gaza Strip toward Israel, forcing Jerusalem to boost its efforts to develop defensive tools to counter this new challenge. Former IDF Chief of Staff and Blue and White Chairman Benny Gantz accused Netanyahu's response to his indictment as inflammatory incitement that threatens civil war. Palestinian Islamists in the Gaza Strip are developing unmanned aerial vehicles for the purpose of attacking Israel. According to a senior Israeli military official, Hamas and its jihadist allies are developing tactical aerial capabilities for the purpose of reconnaissance and targeted attacks, which according to a presiding assessment in Tel Aviv, these means are expected to be used in a next wide-scale conflict between the Islamist groups in Gaza and the Jewish state. Meanwhile, IDF troops shot down a small drone that flew near the border fence in the southern part of the Palestinian enclave on Saturday evening. The drone reportedly crossed the border into Israeli airspace before an IDF force opened fire toward it. Consequently, the drone's debris were located on Israeli territory. The IDF spokesperson's unit said in a statement that the drone, which was not carrying any dangerous materials, was taken in for further examination. Speaking about the new tactical threat from Gaza, Israeli Prime Minister Bimi Netanyahu revealed that Israel is developing technological and other tools to defeat and counter this threat. In his opening remarks to Jerusalem's weekly cabinet meeting, the Israeli leader underscored that the country's security establishment will produce the necessary unique tools to counter this growing phenomena. <laughs> מרצועת עזה למדינת ישראל. הרחפן הזה יורט בהצלחה. אני מבקש למסור לכם שהקבינט קיים על האיום של הרחפנים כמה וכמה דיונים. זה איום חדש, איום מתפתח, איום משמעותי. אנחנו מפתחים באמצעים טכנולוגיים ואחרים כלים למגר את האיום הזה, לסכל אותו. אני הטלתי את המשימה הזאת על ראש המל"ל שעובד יחד עם זרועות שונים. שונות בגופי הביטחון. אני מעריך שביכולתנו להביא לתוצאות שם, כפי שעשינו בהגנה אקטיבית, טיפות ברזל, להיות הטובים ביותר בעולם, כדי לתת את מרב ההגנה לאזרחי ישראל. It is important to mention that in multiple conversations with senior intelligence officials, TV7 has learned that many Islamic terror groups are trying to emulate terror-related methods that were successfully used by the Islamic Republic of Iran, including its operational usage of drones, among others, that were utilized by the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps in a devastating attack against two Saudi oil facilities on September the 14th of this year. Referring to the Iranian attack on Saudi Arabia, Prime Minister Bimi Netanyahu cited a statement by the commander of the U.S. Central Command, General Kenneth McKenzie, who warned that Iran is planning yet another attack. General לא רק את שכנותיה ואותנו, איראן גם תוקפת את אזרחיה. ובשבועות האחרונים הם טפחו מאות מאזרחי איראן. זה משטר עריצות פר אקסלנס, שהדמות שלו והחזות האמיתית שלו נחשפת עכשיו לכל העולם. למי שהיה צריך הוכחה נוספת, זה משטר הטרור הגדול ביותר שקיים בעולם, גם כלפי אזרחיו פנימה. ולכן אני קורא לכל ה... מדינות בעולם שרוצות להשיג שלום ויציבות באזורנו ובעולם בכלל, להצטרף למאמץ להפעיל עוד ועוד לחץ על איראן. וכן, דבר נוסף, לתמוך בישראל כשהיא פועלת נגד התוקפנות הזאת. פעלנו וגם נמשיך לפעול. 
Following the cabinet meeting in Jerusalem, Prime Minister Netanyahu traveled to the north of the Jewish state where he held a security-related tour of the Israeli border with Syria. After receiving an elaborate briefing alongside Defense Minister Naftali Bennett and IDF Deputy Chief of Staff Major General Eyal Zamir from the commanding officer of the IDF Northern Command Major General Amir Bar'am, Netanyahu underscored Israel's relentless resolve to prevent the Islamic Republic of Iran from achieving its goals. התוקפנות של איראן באזורנו וגם מולנו נמשכת. אנחנו נוקטים את כל הפעולות הדרושות כדי למנוע מאיראן להתבסס כאן באזור. זה כולל גם את הפעילות הדרושה כדי לסכל העברות נשק קטלני מאיראן אל סוריה, אם בדרך האוויר או בדרך הקרקע. ואנחנו גם נפעל לסכל את ניסיונה של איראן להפוך את עיראק ואת תימן לבסיסי שיגור של רקטות וטילים נגד מדינת ישראל. המחויבות שלנו והנכונות שלנו להיאבק בתוקפנות האיראנית היא מוחלטת ואנחנו פועלים בכל האמצעים כדי למנוע מאיראן להשיג את היעדים שלה. When asked whether the latest domestic political and legal developments hampered the Israeli leader's ability to function against the country's security challenges, namely Iran, Netanyahu insisted that he will persist with his wide array of efforts to preserve the security of the citizens and state of Israel. <laughs> בכל הדרכים הדרושות כדי לשמור על ביטחונם של אזרחי ישראל והדברים החיוניים למדינת ישראל. Well, Netanyahu had primarily dedicated these past couple of days to promote his efforts of securing the Jewish state from its regional foes. The political turmoil in Jerusalem continues to trigger sporadic demonstrations across the country. Uh, we are protesting here to stand with Bibi against the injustice that the monstrous leftists who think that they rule the court and they are above the law, but they are not. So they try to shut down the right, the right wing in Israel. A big respect to the system in Israel that is prosecuting the Prime Minister. On the other hand, it's a shame for us that this is the situation with our Prime Minister. And Netanyahu is not a new one. He is in control, he is the Prime Minister in the last 10 years. So it's about time for him to go to the court, try to establish that he is innocent and leave us with his position and with his duty. The Prime Minister responded to Attorney General Avichai Mendelblit's decision to indict him last week by accusing the country's prosecutors and police of perpetrating an attempted legal coup and vowed to battle against the so-called corrupt deep state by launching investigations against those who investigated him and his family. In light of Benjamin Netanyahu's harsh allegations, his political rival, former IDF Chief of Staff and Blue and White Chairman Benny Gantz, condemned the incumbent Prime Minister for what he referred to as incitement that threatens a civil war. הימים והשבועות האחרונים אינם מותירים מקום לספק. נתניהו מסתכן בהצתת מלחמת אחים בינינו. מול קריאות ההסתה והשנאה שלו, אני עומד כאן מולכם בשמם של אחים רבים מימין ומשמאל ואומר לכם, הגיעה העת לרפא את החברה הישראלית ממגפת השנאה. It is important to know that the Israeli Attorney General Avichai Mendelblit has formed a special team to evaluate the constitutional issues regarding Netanyahu's legal status, first and foremost vis-à-vis -vis the question of whether Netanyahu can form a government in the future, despite the indictment against him. The special legal team, which also includes some of those the Prime Minister accused of tainting the proceedings against him, are expected to provide their recommendations to the Attorney General, who will ultimately make a decision on the matter. Mendelblit's legal opinion will focus on the question of whether the change in the Prime Minister's legal status, now that he's no longer merely a suspect but is a defendant who has been charged with bribery, a charge that bears a mark of moral turpitude, can prevent him from forming a new government. In any case, the Attorney General's opinion is expected to be challenged in court, which will most likely have to decide on the issue by an extended panel of judges. Thank you for watching us. Keep praying for the peace of Jerusalem and the peace and salvation of Israel. I'm Jonathan Hassan. Have a Erev Tov and Shavua Tov. We will see you again tomorrow at the same time.